on this Q&A, we've got questions about traveling to see our guests, fixing guest hair, as well as what music should we play in the salon. Check it out. Ask away. It's FNF Q&A. Welcome to FNF Q&A 27. I'm Benjamin J. Uh, we got a really nice reaction to our fun video introduction last week. You guys seem to really like the more uh, off-the-cuff, less polished introductions. So um, that was great. Uh, this week, this weekend, actually October 24th through the 26th, uh, myself as well as the rest of our hair loft team are going to be going to Grand Rapids, Michigan. We're going to be checking out the Paul Mitchell Pro, aka Manico Blue, salon forum event. So we're going to be there all weekend, taking classes, hanging out, learning. Uh, what we really want to do is that Sunday, which is the 25th, 25th, uh, we want to do a Q&A there. So if you want to meet up, we'll just hang out at the round bar on a Sunday morning. We may just mean that we just didn't leave from Saturday night. We'll see. But um, we want to shoot a Q&A there with everybody. So if you have questions, we'll meet up and then we'll, we'll put the good stuff on the show. So uh, with that, let's just get into the questions. <clears throat> this stylist wants to know, my aunt's best friend wanted her hair done but didn't want to travel for me to do it. And I don't do hair out of garages. So my aunt, who's not a hairstylist, did it. She also did her kids' hair. Needless to say, they all hate it and want it to be fixed at their house. What do I do or say? <laughs> I, um, I, no, I, it's not a, a hard answer to this. Um, they probably shouldn't have done it if they didn't know what they were doing. And uh, it seems to me that either uh, you can, your options are either you can go to them and fix it in, at their place, but if you don't do garage hair, which is probably a good choice, um, doesn't seem like you're going to want to do that. So then you can either not fix it and not worry about it because it's not really your problem, or you can have them come to the salon and pay to have you fix it and hopefully they'll learn their lesson and not have to deal with this again. But um, there's really no responsibility here on you to have to go out and do anything. So um, it sounds like a weird answer, but uh, either do it or don't and uh, it won't be that big of an issue. Seems like it was a pretty straightforward answer to a question that uh, didn't really need to be asked. <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, this is so <laughs> harsh. It's not really a problem. Well, it's not. I mean, it is it's, not. she didn't do the hair in the first place. <clears throat> so it's not like she's correcting her own mistake. Her aunt, who shouldn't have done it, and she should know how much her uh, niece put into learning to do hair had to do it and so as a result I just I don't really see I don't really see what the problem is so uh, either do it if you want to fix it or don't if you don't want to go to their house and do it <clears throat> this stylist asks I have a client doing a beauty pageant and I'm doing her hair for the event well her mom texts me some more details and I have to buy tickets for both days and she only wants to buy one of the tickets for me I don't know what to do I think that this is uh, a solid question. Um, I think it's actually probably a pretty cool thing to be involved in beauty pageant uh, and getting to exercise your creativity in a different way. Um, certainly if you are doing this as a service to them, then yes, they should definitely be paying for your tickets to both days because that wouldn't make any sense, right? Why should you have to pay to do her hair? Even if, if you're charging them for a service price, they should still be taking care of you going to the event in order to do the event. Um, however, maybe, and this is just maybe, if you are trying to use this as an opportunity to network with this beauty pageant in hopes of doing more with them long term, you know, maybe you meet the director or the producers of the show and you get more involved and in the long run you get to do more things with them, maybe then we could chalk it up to, well, the expense of that ticket is going to be part of the, the cost of networking so that you can get further opportunities down the road. 
If you're not interested in that, though, they should definitely be picking up the cost for both tickets because that's why you're going there in the first place. This owner wants to know, what is a good sound system for music in your salon? What type of music? I'm having trouble getting everyone to like what's playing. Plus, I want a classy, relaxing environment. You know, I think that music is often uh, a surprisingly big challenge in salons. And it's because everybody has a different personal taste, right? And so um, the, real, the real key thing to remember, though, is that music does a lot in order to create the experience of what the guests are going to be receiving. You know, and so if we have a higher paced music, a little bit more energy, of course, that's going to bring a higher frequency and probably a, a, a faster work pace to the salon. You mentioned wanting to go for a classy, relaxing environment. That is going to mean different things to different people. You know, does that mean like a classic Beethoven type of music? Because to be honest, that to me would, I would be falling asleep while I was trying to work. But it all comes down to the experience that you're trying to create and for the team, the environment that they want that they want to work in. The service that we use for our music is Pandora Business. I like it a lot. Uh, we have it at both of our locations and it's only $25 a month. Uh, what we do often is let our team kind of add uh, a radio channel or an artist to the mix and then we just go through and, and pick who we're going to put on for this day. So it's nice because then the team gets to feel like they're kind of involved in the music selection, even though their artist or their playlist may not be picked every day, but they get to be a part of making that experience for the guest. Um, generally, I would say that everybody's pretty, pretty happy with it. There are times, and I wish somebody at Pandora was listening, they need to do a little bit of a better job of helping with the, um, the filtering. Because all that you can really do is you can set not wanting as explicit lyrics or allowing them. So of course we have the explicit lyrics turned off, but that doesn't, it doesn't filter out um, anything other than lyrics, right? So it's just looking for, for swear words. It's not taking the actual content or context of the song into play. And so then when you got the, the wash house whip and nay naying it, um, you tend to then have to drop that track and move on to the next one. But other than that, <clears throat> it's a good service, I like it, and that's what we use. This stylist asks, when a client comes in and gets a cut in color and loves it, and texts you the next day and asks to go even shorter, but she still loves the cut she literally just got yesterday, just wants more off. Do you charge for another cut since it's not a fix, or just suck it up and cut it for free since they're referring tons of people to you? This is a great question because I'm sure that this comes up for many, many people more often than we would probably want it to come up. Um, my opinion is, to be honest, just suck it up. You know, I know that it's one of those things where we didn't do anything wrong, but one of, the, one of my favorite things when it comes to service is the quote, the guest isn't always right, but they're never wrong. And because of that, even though she was happy, she's not happy. And so it's our, ultimately our job to make sure that the guest is happy. Now, this probably isn't coming up every time you cut this guest's hair. It's not coming up every time you cut every guest's hair. It just happens to come up every once in a while. And so because of that, I think that we can handle it and, and do it for them. You know, one of the things that I, I see often in a lot of these questions, a couple of them were in the questions that we already answered today, is we're getting lost looking at the, the, the small picture and we're not thinking about the big picture. Doing one free haircut to adjust this doesn't mean anything compared to as you said, she refers tons of guests to you. So if we're going to charge this person to, in her mind, she's seeing it as possibly fixing it. If we're going to charge her to come back, do we want to do that and get that extra $50 for another haircut versus risking the $300 or however that many thousands of dollars it might cost us in the referrals that we won't get in the future? Right? You guys got to, we got to think big picture and stop focusing on the small stuff that ultimately is making very little to no difference in our businesses and in our daily lives and just clouding everybody's mind. Think big picture, think customer service and taking care of everybody and ultimately if you make everybody happy they will want to come back and see you and they will keep referring you to their friends to come and see you and that's how you ultimately continue to grow your businesses by making people happy. This was FNF Q&A 27. Um, you might have noticed on the questions, we took the names off and the photos off. The reason that we are going to do this is 
We actually want to keep the questions more anonymous. I think that um, perhaps by doing this, it will open up people's willingness to ask questions. So please drop your questions in the comments below uh, and we will keep things more anonymously so that you don't feel like you're, you're getting pushed out and thrown out and having to ask a question in front of class and you're not sure how, the, how those response might go. Um, other than that, we hope to see you guys at Grand Rapids at the Forum uh, next weekend. If you're there, please, please come say hello and, and hang out. Can't wait to see everybody. Uh, I'm Benjamin J. You can follow me online. Of course, follow Form and Function online. Until then, we'll see you next time. Thank you.